Hi, this is Sean Hale with Sean Hale Woodcrafts. And today, we're going to be making this really cool Bluetooth speaker. Now, what I like about this build is that it's actually really simple as far as the electronics go. It's only five components, including the speaker itself. And you just make a few solder connections, and it connects to your phone and plays great tunes. Now, in this case, I decided to go with just one speaker because I had this really cool box and um, I like the way that it all just looked together but if you want to connect two speakers to your board and use a you know any kind of box that you want to go for it but with this one here it's kind of cool it has it opens up in the front like that and then I can change my batteries I've got my Bluetooth board on the top shelf and I've got these little wooden dowels that go down and let me uh, control all the buttons on the Bluetooth board so you know what I guess the best thing to do is get started on this thing. Let's do it. So the first thing I want to do before I even put it all into the cigar box is just kind of wire it all up and make sure that everything's working. And uh, the first thing it goes to after the battery is this rocker switch. Here's how the LED switch is wired. And this goes straight to my step up converter, which the fan represents in this photo. So what the step-up converter does is it takes the 3.7 volts of the battery and I have it set up at 14 volts to run my Bluetooth board. There's a little dial on there that you can turn and adjust the voltage. The Bluetooth board actually runs between 8 and 24 volts. So 14 volts is kind of right in the middle there. And then of course from the board to my speaker and uh, that's it. So I've got the battery holder, I've got the LED switch, I've got the step up power converter. Bluetooth board, which is a TDA7492P 50 watt, and then I'm using a Boss BRS40 50 watt 4 inch car speaker. The box I'm using is called La Gloria Cubana, and it's a really cool shape. I love this thing. So the idea here is that I want the Bluetooth board inside my cigar box and I want to be able to push these buttons on the board from the outside of the box. So what I'm going to do is uh, build a little shelf underneath the top here and then I'll drill some holes in the top that'll have some dowels that go in there and push those buttons. So we'll go ahead and trace the shape. And then I grab a piece of wood that's about as thick as the cigar box and then trace the, um, the inner shape. So now we'll cut that out and check the fit. Looking good. And I'll trace that onto some plywood. And there's the finished shelf. So I'm going to use some spacer boards here to um, space the distance between the, the shelf and the top. And I want just the right amount so that the Bluetooth board just slides in there and it's easy for me to get those buttons down through the top. Perfect. So now I'm just gluing some strips of wood below it and above it and that'll make a nice little slot for me to slide this shelf into. Just like that. So I'm gluing an extra piece of wood to the front edge 
and that'll just make it flush with the lid so everything is nice and snug inside there. So here I'm just taking some measurements uh, kind of by eye and I'm also using like a piece of paper and marking different things with a pencil so that I can line the buttons up with the holes that I'm going to drill on the top. So there's the straight line going across and then those vertical lines will correspond with the buttons. Just kind of check it all out, see how it all looks. Looks like it lines up. And then I'll just use my center punch here and drill out the holes. <laughs> So here you can see how the dowel is going to go into that hole and push those buttons inside there. Now luckily I had the right size drill bit to where that dowel is a really snug fit, but yet it's still loose enough to be able to move around in there. So I'm going to cut them all to length, and I actually have a stop block in there so I can get them all the same length. Give them all a little push and see how they feel. Nice. So the screw is what's going to keep the dowel from falling back out after I put it back in there. And this little jig lets me sand each dowel flush with the block so they're all exactly the same length. Buttons are looking good. Now here I'm just marking how high I can put my speaker without hitting my shelf. And with that line going across there, now I can go ahead and draw the circle for my speaker. And I'm going to drill four holes and use those as a guide to draw the circle on the other side. Because that's the side that needs to be face up when I'm cutting. And here I'm cutting out the circle on my scroll saw. go ahead and punch where I need to drill for my speaker screws. And we'll get all the screws in there and the speaker is mounted. I'm going to be using hot melt glue to get all this stuff into place. So there's the Bluetooth board. I've actually got lines drawn on that shelf so I know exactly where to glue that board down. And here I'm gluing my step-up converter to the bottom and that'll be closer to the battery in that location. It'd be easy to get the wires to the battery. And here I'm wiring in my little power supply. The switch actually pops perfectly into a three-quarter inch hole. It just snapped right in there. So once again, here's the wiring diagram for this LED switch. Now these switches are sold as 12-volt um, switches, kind of like for cars and boats, but they work great off the 3.7-volt uh, batteries as well. So the fan in the photo represents the positive and negative inputs of my step-up converter. So I'll go ahead and make the solder connections on the switch. Make the solder connections on my speaker. I'm 
just kind of testing out the lid. Everything slides in. Very nice. So I got my two battery holder in there and I kind of glued all the wires out of the way with hot melt glue just to make it nice and clean in there. Now I'm going to pop my wooden dowel in there for the switches. And I'm going to screw those little tiny screws into the pre-drilled holes in my dowel. There they all are. And that'll keep those dowels from popping out the top. Put a ribbon in my battery holder so I can get the batteries out easier. Pop my batteries in and we're done. Okay the one last thing I wanted to talk about was the batteries in this. Now I was going to make this thing USB rechargeable but my little battery charging board seemed to be getting really hot and these lith lithium batteries can't get dangerous. In fact they can catch on fire. So I thought the easiest solution was to just um, buy an extra set of batteries and a simple uh, battery charging unit that I can just plug in. Now this was only a few bucks for this and it just makes life easy. I just swap out the batteries and I'm good to go. So now that I've got this thing all built, I've got to say I'm really happy with it. It's plenty loud. It's a 50 watt board with a 50 watt speaker. Um, so I can definitely play this in the room and have no problems with volume. And connecting it to the Bluetooth was really easy as well. I just brought up the uh, Bluetooth setting in my settings on my phone. And there's something called XIN RUI Audio. You can see it there. I just tapped that and it gave me the option to connect and it was connected to my phone. So really easy. I'd like to give you a quick demo of the speaker. Here's a song that I composed and recorded going through my speaker. Now these buttons on top, the first one allows me to pause the song. Uh, the next two let me go forward and back and then the last two are the volume. I'd really like to thank you for watching my video and I hope you can uh, hit that subscribe button. I've got some other videos up. Uh, one is building a lap steel guitar start to finish, building a cigar box guitar start to finish, and also I got a uh, one where I did a carving as well. And plus I have more in the works all the time. I'm always thinking of new ideas. So if you subscribe you'll be able to find out about those new videos. If you can hit the like button, say something nice in the comments, I would really appreciate it a lot. Take care, you guys.